Come on, guys. Time for lunch. This is the Watson family in Buffalo, New York. It's summer, school's out, and the kids are free to do what they want. Nine-year-old Taylor is, of course, interested in seeing if she can annoy her younger brother. How come you look like a monkey when you eat? But apart from that, Taylor's going to have a lot to do this summer. She's part of a University of Buffalo study looking at the relationship between physical activity in kids and eating. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Deborah. Hi, come on. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Okay, Taylor, this is the activity monitor. Okay. And I'm going to show you, it's just this little box here. Take it out of this pouch. Okay, it's just going to kind of be like a belt. You might put it on your belt loops, through your pants, or you could just put it right around your waist. Taylor's going to wear the activity monitor for the next nine weeks. At the same time, the TVs and computers in the house are going to have their activity monitor. Every time one switched on or off, that will be recorded. And there's no cheating allowed. Now there's a minute-by-minute -minute record developing of how active Taylor is how much TV and computer time she puts in. How'd the families do this week? The families did great. Um, we collected all of the... study was conceived by psychologist Len Epstein. And um, all of the 24-hour recalls were conducted. Now one quarter of kids are obese. That's doubling in the last 20 years. And part of the reason for that, uh, most people think, is the increase in sedentary behaviors, the amount of TV, watch, the amount of computer games, kids watch. If you look at prospective data, you can identify which kids are likely to become obese over the next five years, a function of how much TV. Ten-year-old Brian McDiarmid is another of the 13 kids in the study. You can see what he likes to do. Pass is right. Brian, how you Well, the kids had to wear the activity monitors. The mothers were asked to keep careful track of everything their children ate. The information was called in regularly. Hi, Sue. This is Tammy from the University of Buffalo. I'm just calling to conduct the 24-hour recall. And what was the first thing that Brian had to eat or drink after he woke up? Okay. Um, about 9 o'clock in the morning, he had um, four mini waffles. He had about oh, two teaspoons of syrup with that. And was he watching TV on the computer? Or playing video games? Uh, he was watching TV. Okay, Taylor, you need to fill out your booklet. Okay. For activity logs as well. The show ended at 8 o'clock. Okay. Haley's mother was surprised at how things were looking. He had always thought that they really weren't avid TV viewers, that maybe an hour here, two hours here, an unusual day where there'd be more than that. But when you looked at the numbers over the course of a seven-day period, we were somewhat astounded by that, that our children could be spending... 12, 15, upwards of 20 hours or more a week in front of a television or a computer not doing anything else. And that's almost an entire day out of a seven-day period. So th that was kind of shocking for us. After three weeks, all the activity monitors, TV and computer records and activity logs were piled. It turned out that the average time spent in front of the TV or computer was 24 hours a week, three and a half hours a day. So now that they knew the normal behaviors of their weird up families, the researchers set about changing the kids' activity levels. It would be that as kids become more sedentary, that eats into their um, physical activity time, and they're not as physically active. Or it could be that a lot of kids, when they're sedentary, are also eating. For the next three weeks, the kids were asked to increase TV and computer time by half. For Taylor, nine more hours a week. For Brian, 20 more hours. They got a few dollars reward if they succeeded. Amazingly, they all managed it. The result was that eating in front of the TV went up a whopping 45% on average. Total calories consumed increased 10% and physical activity decreased by more than two hours a week. So it seems TV and computers have a double effect. Kids are less active and they eat more. For the final three weeks, 
weeks, the researchers reversed things. Now the kids had to decrease their original TV and computer time by half. I think in many ways it was sort of a culture shock for our family because all of a sudden this ubiquitous presence in our house, the TV that's always on or on quite a bit, was gone. And initially it was a little bit awkward. And yet it was a very good experience for us because um, Taylor, for instance, she rode her bike more, she read books more, she did more athletic activities, be it swimming, whatever, playing basketball. And we started to realize we really didn't miss it that much. In fact, Taylor and all the other kids found plenty to do. All of it was physically active, of course. A lot was. The average increase in activity was more than three and a half hours a week. And they ate a few percent less, too. In our study, we found that about one-third of the time that they reduced from being sedentary, they reallocated to physical activity. So if they, if they reduced 20 hours a week, sedentary time is seven hours dedicated now to, to being physically active. So it, um, you don't have to have a one-to-one -one change. You don't have to take every single minute you were watching television and being physically active. But a reallocation of one-third of the time really produces um, most of the activity anybody would need. All right, turn. So the study revealed another trap our kids are falling into. They could be more active and eat less, but instead they're becoming less active and eating more. It's a trap that will last for life. Kids who are sedentary when they're young become sedentary. Adolescents become sedentary adults. Really active kids active adolescents and become active adults. So kids now who are very sedentary are establishing a lifelong pattern and it'd be very hard to break. Now is the time when their kids to change their lifestyle and get them to be more physically active and less sedentary.